Hi Parish here and I'm going to continue from the previous chapter about digital e-commerce and digital e-commerce is it's very ready right now thanks to the physical e-commerce because with the physical e-commerce it has actually helped us uh, to, to make our potential customers, the consumers very familiar with buying online whether they are using Alipay, PayPal uh, credit cards, wire transfer, or any kinds of methods that they are using because when they are familiar with purchasing online and making online transactions they have migrated to a, a whole new world where now they will feel comfortable with acquiring knowledge and different type of education from the internet and that's where digital e-commerce comes into the picture and by the way, this video that I'm recording for you, this training I'm recording for you I'm just doing it in my office against one white wall. Alright, so there is no fancy prop whatsoever, and this is an unscripted training, which means that that I may I may forget what was to say from time to time. Anyway, going back to here. So uh, at the same time, right, with the boom of physical e-commerce, there's so many people going out there and trying to sell products, which means whatever that you want to sell or you are selling physically. I'm pretty sure that the competition has become uh, uh, tougher by now in that sense because it's, it's, it's very common right now where people start to get started with e-com. Now this is where uh, digital e-commerce opens up a new opportunity for you to, to be an online business and that's where today's training is, is it's about. So I want to share with you uh, uh, one very, I would say, a lucrative point when you start with digital e-commerce. See, with digital e-commerce, you are not dependable on the market. Or what do I mean by that? So, like, for instance, I am, um, I am recording this video with, say, with, with an iPhone there, right? Now, if someone doesn't really have the intention of buying an iPhone, it's kind of hard for you to persuade that person to buy an iPhone. Or, uh, I can see there's a chair in front of, of, of me right now. If someone doesn't have the... The, 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 the motivation to buy a chair and he's not looking for a chair no matter how good are you to, to present your offer to the person he is not going to buy a chair you see where I'm coming from? that is the physical e-commerce uh, world now of course he has his advantage because if someone wants to buy a chair it's very easy for it to sell because that person already decided that he wants to buy a chair and you just need to present to, to that person the, the potential customers the right offer uh, the right deal in that sense for a person to, to buy. Now you see, the, 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 the interesting part with digital e-commerce is that you actually, you actually create your own market. You can actually so-called create your own future. Now, because digital e-commerce is about offering uh, a different kind of products which is, which is intangible. And because of that, the, the, the value or you can even say the perceived value depending on how you are to look at it but I don't like the word perceived value because it's true value because the value that you impart can be created you can create the ones for someone so for instance right through um, exposure towards the, 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 the solution that you're seeking so let's say let's say let's look at um, let's talk about fitness so assuming someone uh, it's not aggressively looking uh, information on how he could he could uh, be slimmer uh, and look fitter. He's not aggressively doing that, or she is not aggressively thinking of doing that. But if if this person is presented with the the right video, uh, the right ebook, the right triggers, and you have a a good way of pre presenting your offer or your digital e-commerce product, whether it's a course and ebook and so on. You could turn someone who is not in a buying mode to become your customer. Now try to understand this part uh, uh, again. It's, uh, it also means that you should li literally create customers from TNA. So you identify a market. Let's say again fitness. If you are able to identify the fitness market and you can start producing uh, 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 the right content for them, Right, it doesn't have to be you who produce that. You could be a curator uh, for that means, and they start they start to enjoy the content that you create or you create you curate or you curate or you create 
and and they start to follow you and so on. Now, if you present them with the right uh, knowledge or information that, that they can improve their health, improve their fitness and so on, bam, you may have someone who may be your, your, your customer. And that's what I mean by creating opportunity from thin air. Now, that's what digital uh, e-commerce is. Now, the other part that I mentioned uh, to you earlier that, that digital e-commerce is actually much bigger than physical e-commerce. Now, of course, I'm not referring to the sales revenue, I'm not referring to companies, but I'm referring to individual base. I, I truly believe that if someone can master digital e-commerce, he will make so much more money, he will build much more bigger business than his e-commerce business. I'm referring to individual, I'm referring to small business, like, like you and me, uh, and so on, right? Now, to give you a, a, a simple example, you can just see the, the, the proof that's happening right now. Now, you may see there are trainers, speakers, and so on who do training about e-commerce, right? Like they teach you how to, how to do e-commerce business. Do you have that? Like workshops, uh, uh, coaching program, and so on. Now, let me ask you this question, right? Do they make more money from the e-commerce business or from their information business? Now, what is information business? The training, the courses, and so on. So it's something for you to ponder upon and, and to consider the point there. Like for instance, I know uh, Matt Clark, the, the, the one who created Amazing Selling Machines, like one of the most successful e-comp uh, courses on the internet. And I think his course sells for like 2000 over US dollar. And when he launched Amazing Selling Machine, he generated eight figure of, of, of revenue by selling the training, by selling the digital e-commerce, right? The info products. Um, I know a lot of good e-com trainers, speakers, and so on. And I think that their information business, the courses that they sell, who have generated more millions than their own e-com business. Now, then again, I don't want you to misunderstand this point here. I'm not saying that that is good or bad. In fact, we are so blessed that there are those who are out there sharing their knowledge, their expertise for how to build the e-com business and there's nothing wrong with that it's really 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 great that they actually do that even though if they make less money from the e-com business but they make more money from their, their digital e-commerce that's fine because they're teaching uh, a real valuable information that you can use but just do the comparison there now if the e-com physical business is more lucrative i don't think that they will be out there teaching you or doing any workshops, training, coaching program, and so on. Because the very fact is that the info, the info product business, which is a form of digital e-commerce, is much more bigger than you can even comprehend. It's huge. Uh, and these are like workshops, coaching program, and so on. They could be offline. But what if, if all of these uh, move towards the online platform? Let's try to, to think about that, right? So instead of... Uh, 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 restricted to like demographic, let's say just KL. What if like you know if you do for the whole for the whole Malaysia at any time, every single day, right? So I just want you to to ponder upon that point and try to grasp how big digital e-commerce is and is is actually uh, happening right now and how you can actually uh, tap on that. All right, with that said, it's Patrick here, and I hope that you have enjoyed today's uh, marketing insight. Thank you.